Preseason friendlies are upon us, and it's time to see if our depleted Man United squad can cope with the big boys. Kyle Walker's signed for Juventus. So last episode, we did make a few signings. We also messed up one. Vuskovic, of course, didn't go through, unfortunately. But we'll go back and we'll try and get him at a later date. Uh, we now have to make some decisions on what we're going to do in things like the CDM role, um, on the wings, and up front as well. So... I'm going to start by getting a new striker in. And Mukoko is one that's been mentioned in the comments. Rashid Green has mentioned that Mukoko is a little bit of a beast, as is Collins. Of course, we got Collins last episode, which was a great signing. Uh, Mukoko is going to be our next target. He's currently valued at 3.4 million. Uh, but you might have the chance to get the deal with an offer around 2.8. So we'll try and get him as cheap as possible. Straight away, I've put in an offer for 2.7. Uh, they have a different type of deal in mind. They're willing to part ways with Palestri. They want Palestri as well as... Oh, no, straight up swap. Um, I'm going to counter that. I'm not really interested in exchanging Palestri. He's a young player that could still come good. We put in another offer of 2.7 again. And Mukoko could be coming to us. We just need to not mess up the wages. Right. I need to be careful with this because I don't want to get it wrong. We've currently got him down as a prospect. His contract length is five years. Um, 15k I think is reasonable. In fact, it's probably better than reasonable. However, we don't want to lose him. He's a guaranteed starter for us pretty much in the future seasons. We want to make sure that we pick him up and we get him in the door. So I'm actually going to give him well above what I should probably give him. 35k a week. Hopefully that brings him in. It does. I didn't want to miss out on him. We've got a massive budget in wages anyway. So 35 grand compared to 15 grand isn't that much difference. We've got a young striker in who apparently can go up to be like an 89 rated player. So here we go. Mukoko is meeting Eric Ten Hag for the first time. Coming into Manchester United. Getting those medical tests done so we can confirm his signing. I think... He is going to be pretty important for us in the next few seasons. And it's definitely 100% the kind of player that we want to be bringing into the club. Let's see what they think of this deal. I think I actually got a decent price here. 2.7 is a B. Yes, we're finally getting better at being in the transfer market. Uh, what do they think of him as a signing in general? It's a great price. Stronger negotiation skills could have got you 500k less on the deal, which is fair enough. Um, but it says he's not good enough, but he will be. He's only 17. Now, I want to give Makoko a uh, chance in the next game. So, I'm actually going to take Rashford. Uh, and no, I'll take Alanga and put Alanga on the reserves. And we'll put Rashford into the bench again. But I, I, I think Makoko could be a pretty good player going forward. He's going to be one that we bring off the bench a lot to try and give as much game time to make sure his development is as strong as possible. Now, with career mode this season, there's a slight difference in the way that you can play matches. You can, of course, play a match as normal. You can sim a match or quick sim it. We've always been able to do that. But this year, they've got highlights. You can play highlights. You can just play the attacking ones. Or you can play the entirety of the highlights, which I'm assuming will also include some defensive scenarios. I'm going to go with play highlights in this game. Um, just to see what it's like. It's only a friendly. It doesn't matter if it's rubbish and we lose. Um, but we'll play the highlights and see how they go. It might make the content genuinely more interesting because we're not really in charge of the whole game as a whole. We're only in charge of these one or two key moments. As you can see on the screen, we've got Ronaldo up top, Sancho and Anthony on the wings, Fernandez, Eriksen and Casemiro in midfield, Malaysia, Martinez, Varane and Dallo make up the back four with De Gea in goal. Uh, we've got some players on the bench that I'm hoping to be able to bring on. Not sure if we'll be able to make subs during the highlights. If we can't, that might be the thing that sways me to playing the full game in the future. But please do let me know in the comments. Let me know whether you want me to play full matches and create my own highlights for you guys. Or if you want me to play the given highlights and see what that's like for a season. Um, okay, the first highlight is coming up. The crossing opportunity for Real Madrid. It's 0-0, five minutes in. Can we stop this cross coming in? Let's find out. Tony Cruz up against Martinez. Martinez does well to block it out. Okay, this is decent. A counter-attack for Madrid now, 11 minutes in. Let's have a little look. Can we stop this counter-attack for Madrid? Yes, we can. Martinez coming in very strongly. Do we get a chance to turn this into a goal? We do. Bruno Fernandes just wide. Now we've got a solo run for Ronaldo. Up against Carvajal at the back. He's one-on-one -on -one with Carvajal. 
and he's lost the ball. Okay, that, that wasn't great. A Real Madrid counter-attack yet again. Let's see if we can stop this one. I quite like this. It's a cool way to play career mode. I'm not sure it's going to work for my series all in all, but it's kind of cool to begin with at least. Um, Real Madrid solo run this time up against Dallo is Eden Hazard on the left wing. 55 minutes into the game now. We're in the second half. Can we stop Hazard? Yes, we can. Varane does very well. It's gone back to Hazard though. They've still got the ball here, Real Madrid. Hazard plays it in to Benzema. Good block, Martinez. Okay, we are getting an attacking scenario here. We're taking a corner with Malaysia. Can we get a decent cross in? We can't quite get the cross in. And we lost the ball. That's not ideal. But Sancho's got it back. Here we go. Playing it forward. Rashford into Ronaldo. It's been saved by the keeper. That was probably our chance to score, let's face it. A Man United attack in the 72nd minute here. Uh, we're going to have to pass this ball pretty quick not to lose it to Modric. <laughs> Jesus, Modric was on us. It's like jumping the gun in a race. It's far too quick. Let's go. Rashford now. Rashford gets a little dink into the box. Oh, no one can quite get their head on it though. And the ball gets cleared away. We've got another chance here for Real Madrid that we're going to have to defend. Here we go. It's Tony Cruz plays it inside. It's Vinicius Jr. Saved by David De Gea. And that's it. Nil-nil in our game against Real Madrid. Um, that's what the highlights would look like if I did games with highlights. Let me know in the comments down below if that's what you want to see. If the first game up against Real Madrid is always going to be a difficult one. They're obviously one of the best teams in the world. So pretty happy with the draw, really. I'm not going to lie, I'm slightly swaying to me playing the full games and making highlights out of that. It feels like I didn't really have much control over the chances I was creating there. We've got some scout reports. So we're going to head in and look at these three players that we need to scout. And then we've got a transfer offer for Fred. First scout report is for Matea Viti. It's a centre-back from Nice. He's 71 rated already at the age of 20. That could be pretty decent. I'm actually going to shortlist him. I think he's a player that we could look at. Equally, Sonale Diamande is a centre-back from Girona. And he's 73 rated age 21. Again, not a bad shout. We'll shortlist him. And the final one is Timothy um, Pembele. And he plays for PSG. 70 rated overall, 2.8 mil, age just 19. Um, again, he could be decent. He's 70 rated, age 19. That's actually very good because in a couple of years, he could go up to like 76 rated by the age of 21. So, you know what? We'll take a little look at that too. Before we tackle those uh, players coming in, we've got one that might be going out. Fred for 17.7 million. Uh, we'll take a look at the offer. I think that's a little bit low. I think we could negotiate a better deal here. We've kind of said to ourselves in this series that we will get rid of any player that a transfer offer comes in for. So Fred is a player that we might now be getting rid of. So we're going to negotiate this deal and see what we can do. That swap deal would be tempting. I'm going to start them off at 22 million, see what they think. Okay, no, they're not happy in selling him for 22 mil or buying him for 22 mil, should I say. I think personally 17 mil isn't enough for Fred. I think he's worth a little bit more than that. Who's this coming in now? Have I completely forgotten something that I've literally just done? <laughs> did, did we make a signing? Who is this? I don't remember who this is. Okay, well, we've signed a new player who's got a cast on his hand. So that's a blooming good start, isn't it? Who is this? J oh my God, it's Camavinga. We put this through in like episode one and got told that it was never going to happen. Oh my days. You could have made £30 million more profit if you were more demanding with negotiations. Jesus Christ. We've, that is an F. We've been given, given an F on that one. That's quite embarrassing. It says that Camavinga's a striker, so I'm a little bit shy. I don't really understand this rating, if I'm honest, but... Kamavinga in. Centre midfielder is going to be a massive talent. He's already 79 rated. That's that's a great trade in my opinion. It does mean that the left wing is a position that we now need to get a starter in. Because we do have Benoit Gittins, but he's 68 rated, left mid. Um, will go to left wing eventually, but he's a young man. He's not going to be starting for us anytime soon. Another downside of these like highlights way of playing the match is they're now having a go at me because I didn't use substitutions in pre-season. 
Obviously, I, I didn't have any control over that playing in the highlights mode, so a bit annoying. West Ham have shown an interest in taking a Langer on loan with an option to buy. I don't want an option to buy. Why does this have to be a thing in this game? If I press delegate, is he... Is it instantly going to go through? Okay, no. I just want a loan. A one-year loan for a Langer would be pretty cool to West Ham, actually. That's good Premier League experience. I've delegated that, hoping that the glitch with the loan to buy thing is fixed by delegating it. I've been told in the comments it is. Hopefully it works. Okay, Dolan's an overall rated 70. He's not really going to be the one to come in and completely take that starting position at left wing. But he is a player that I'm kind of interested in getting in. He's got good agility, good balance, great sprint speed and acceleration as well. So... With a bit of training, I think he could potentially become a good right wing, left wing player. We're going to try and buy him. Uh, market value is 3 mil. Probably going to be able to get him for a little bit less than that. Um, if we can get him in the door, then I think he's going to be a good backup at least. Again, another club that wants Palestri. Leave Palestri alone, man. The minimum they want is 3.1 million. I'm going to go again. I'm going to go in with uh, 3 million and 10,000 just because I really want to get a good rating on these transfers. So now we're with Dolan and we're going to negotiate his salary. I'm thinking it's going to be quite low if i'm honest so they want twenty nine thousand a week with a two hundred and fifty thousand uh, pounds signing on bonus i'm going to accept that i think that's genuinely all right he's only on a three-year contract interestingly um but i think overall not a bad sign in okay we got a great price for him we got a b rating which is nice uh, not good enough, apparently, in the right wing position, but I think that obviously he will grow over the years. It still doesn't let me scout people. I don't understand. Why is everyone busy? I'm going to hire another scout. I feel like, for some reason, all my scouts are always busy all the time. So, we'll just put another scout out there and, and hope that that's something we can do to then make us be able to scout players again. Find me the next Jusun Park. Still says staff busy. Can someone help me with this? We've got another matchup against Bayern Leverkusen this time. I'm going to switch up the team a little bit and see who we can put in. Okay, so I have bought in every single player that we have bought this transfer window so far, apart from Kamavinga, who's tired because he's literally only just played against us. So, we've got Collins, Kosanu. Alisson, who's come from the youth team, Mukoko, Dolan, and Benoit Gittins all starting in this friendly. I'm going to do the play highlights again just so that you guys see what a full episode would look like with play highlights on. My only real gripe with this is you don't really get to have much control over the game. Okay, we've got Bayern Leverkusen coming forward here, but we have managed to stop that attack. Are we going to get a goal scoring opportunity? A solo run for Manchester United here. It's one versus three, man. I'm not sure how I'm really going to manage this. Uh, Benoit Gittins, though, uh, loses the ball. So that isn't a great start for him in this game. Uh, Manchester United, again, another solo run, this time with uh, Dolan. Um, what's he going to do? Dolan cuts inside. No, again, not really what I would have done in that situation. I wouldn't have played that ball to Dolan in the first place. We've got a corner. Uh, it's going to be put in by youngster Allison. A decent cross in. Can we get ahead on it? We can, but Mukoko can't put it goalwards. Leverkusen counter-attack. Okay, we've got Aldi coming forward. Can we stop him getting the ball into the striker? We can't. Schick. Schick coming forward now. Plays it inside. Gets a strike away. David De Gea catching practice, though. Uh, a crossing opportunity this time for Leverkusen. What can we do in this situation? Ball gets cut back straight away. The ball has gone into Schick and he has just missed the target narrowly. And again, it's a nil-nil. Um, I think that's probably going to be the case with pretty much every highlights game. So you know what? From now on, we won't be doing highlights. Instead, I'll make my own highlights, but playing the full match. I can confirm that Palestria has gone on a two-year loan to Angers and will join Angers immediately. Um, and will return when his loan expires. So we'll see him in a couple of seasons. Maximilian Bayer has come back as his scouting report. Coming up as a 70. Um, Decent-ish stats. But maybe not quite what we're looking for right now. I've shortlisted him just in case you guys say otherwise. So here's the confirmation that Palestri is going out on loan. Why do they always look so sad? And why he has? Why does he have to get escorted out of the building by uh, Eric Ten Hag and the assistant manager? 
I don't know. But it just feels like he's leaving prison, not a football club. The two-year loan has been put down as a, a good job. Um, we're covering all the wages, which I didn't quite realise, but... We've got a good squad depth in that position, so it's not an issue. Okay, a transfer offer has come in for Anthony from Liverpool. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Anthony's only really just turned up at United. He's really not the issue with Manchester United. So, I'm going to reject it. I feel like he's someone who deserves to stay. Plus, no way in hell I'm selling him to Liverpool for half the amount that United paid for him basically yesterday okay we've got Luis Vazquez of Boca Junior here we're gonna put a scout report in for him hold on I've just put a scout report out for someone else yet I can't now scout Gamelo. honestly I don't get what's going on here Alan Varela could be another CDM we go for he looks reasonably similar to Lozano but potentially a little bit better. So I'm going to have a little look at that. Okay, so we've got a number of right backs here that we could take a look at. And whilst I'm just having a little skull roll through, Spence is unrealistic. He's only just joined his team. Pembele we're already taking a look at. Livramento could be a very decent one to go for. So I'm going to whack him on the short list. And this Kessler Hayden as well. It's a little bit of an outside shot because he's 19 years old and plays for Huddersfield of all places. But being an outside shot might actually be quite interesting. So I'm going to give him a little look as well. We are, of course, out here looking for a left winger. So I'm just having a little look at what we've got here now. Um, not much is catching my eye. A lot of which plays for like Liverpool. <laughs> You've got Marquinhos that plays for Arsenal, Rodgers who plays for City and Pino who plays for Liverpool, all of which are basically the best ones on this list. Um, Kao, Pedro de la Vega, who remembers that from the Newcastle career mode? You know what, this Zebalos looks like quite a good player as well, so he might be worth a scout. We'll find out what Marquinhos comes back as as well. And honestly, Jeremy Pino is the best one on the list so i'm gonna go for him as well i'm getting a little bit cheesed off about this goalkeeper situation i might actually go for melier overall these guys are all getting scouted currently and then looking at our center backs vuskovic we can't go back in for yet but hopefully we will be able to pretty shortly uh, Diamande and Viti. Those are two players that we might go for now. Before that, though, I'm going to try and nail down Lozano. So his uh, negotiations can be skipped if you pay the release clause of 9.9. .9. No, we'll begin negotiations getting much cheaper than that, thanks. Okay, I've gone for 3.4 and they've taken it straight away. He was down as like £4 million value. I thought I was uh, shortballing them, but it's not the case. They've snapped my hand off there, which worries me. Okay, wages-wise for Lozano, they want 36000 with 310000 signing on bonus. That's acceptable. I don't mind that at all. We'll take it. Now, I'm a little bit worried about what this rating is going to look like. I don't think they're going to be too happy with this purchase. It's a backup to Casemiro. He's not really going to play a massive amount, if I'm honest with you. Especially until Casemiro leaves the club, what, in five years' time. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit worried they're not going to be too happy about this transfer. I think we overpaid for him a little bit. I'm just going to risk it and skip through this. Yep, transfer in from Espanyol for 3.4 million. Paul Lozano is coming in at a B. That's a great price. Okay, I was not expecting that whatsoever. It says that he's not good enough for us. But overall, um, I'm actually pretty happy with that transfer, really. Right, so centre-back wise, do we want to go for Viti or for Diamande? Hold on, where's my other one gone? Vuskovic is there, good. Because he's the one that I really want in the long run. Uh, Diamande or VT? Let's have a little bit of a look. I think VT is the one to go for because there's no traits on Diamande. Um, so that kind of brings up a bit of a red flag to me. And overall, I'm reasonably happy with the stats that I'm seeing for VT as well. Although they do look a bit better. I don't know. I'm going to go VT. I think he's the one to go for. Arguably, we could go for both, if I'm honest. Now, I am low-balling to the nth degree here. Um, they want Axel Twanzebe. No, that's that's not what I'm here to do. Okay, they actually want 3.3 .3 with a sell-on clause. I'm going to counter that again. Propose a new transfer fee. We're going to go for 2.8 with the same sell-on clause and see what they say. 
Okay, they want 3.25 now. They've now gone up, but they've lowered the sell-on clause. Well, that's fine. You can have as much sell-on clause as you like, because he ain't going anywhere after he comes to us. But I, I'm not willing to pay that right now. I'm going to go to 2.850. See if they'll meet me there. Minimum is 3.1. Is it, though? <laughs> is that your minimum? I'm going for 3. Give me three. There we go. We got three. We, we've hardballed on that. That's a decent negotiation, I think. Okay, he wants 30k wages with two, 260k as an add-on. Absolutely fine. Don't mind that at all. High grades. Trophy earn. Three million from Nice. Matteo Viti comes out as an A. That was some hardball negotiations. Excellent deal. Happy with that. I'm going to wait till we get the negotiation, uh, sorry, the scouting back for Livramento and Kesler Hayden to decide whether we go for Pembele or not. I still want to want to get Vuskovic as well. So he's someone that I'm holding on to. And a striker, I'm not too worried right now. Something I'm realizing is I'm going to have to be very careful when it comes to training now. I can't just press sim all straight away because they don't seem to select the right players for the drills that we're doing. I want to be kind of bringing the right players into this and not really getting Cristiano Ronaldo to waste his energy, frankly. So now you can see that in this training, for example, it is completely people that I am trying to level up. Um, the oldest person in there, I think, is Martinez. He's only 24. That way, hopefully, we'll get the most growth possible. West Ham have accepted to take out Alanga on loan for a one-year deal, and then he'll return to us after. That'll be some good Premier League experience for him. I'm going to press advance one more time to see what comes through. And we've got an offer for Anthony Martial, a player that we could definitely look at getting rid of. First of all, we'll accept the offer for a West Ham loan for one year for Alanga. Now this Martial deal. So they've gone with 29.7 mil. Um, it would be going off to PSV, so it's not going to impact us in any of the competitions we're in, I believe. So this is a deal we could definitely potentially do. Definitely potentially do. Yep, that's good English. So they've gone for 29. I'm going to go for 35 and just see what they say to that they're happy to pay 34 okay so we got another 5 million in that deal so hopefully that was a good sell and we found ourselves up into our next match so i'm not going to play that in this episode and i think that's going to be it for today today we have done so well with new signings we've got mukoko we've got kamavinga we have got who else did we manage to get in today looking through the list we got vt we got Lozano, we got Dolan, I believe, today as well. It's been a very good episode for transfers. Arguably, the biggest one is one that we completely forgotten that we'd done. So that's it for this episode, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please hit it with a massive thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new with your notifications turned on so you know when a new video goes live. Comment down below with players you want me to sign. As you've seen already in this episode, we've signed people based on your comments. People you've let me know about, like Makoko, for example. So thank you for that. And I will see you in the next one.